now. We have now been uh, been recently notified by the medical examiner's office that uh, they are pretty definite that it is not Andrine McDonald. The sheriff's office pretty definite it is not Andreen. The question still left unanswered tonight. Whose body was found burned on the far west side of the county? The discovery was made yesterday off Highway 211 near Government Canyon. Deputies processed the scene, wrapping up efforts this afternoon. The night team Sarah Costa joins us live from Bear County Sheriff's Office with how this investigation is evolving. Sarah? This case seems to be developing rather quickly with new details from the medical examiner's office leading the Bear County Sheriff's Office to believe that the burn remains found may not be Andrew McDonald. The homicide unit is remaining focused. Sheriff Salazar says the main identifier that the burn skeletal remains may not be Andrew is the height. He says Andreen was a very tall woman. The victim found is about five foot two to five foot four. They do know the victim found is a woman, but with little other information to go on. And so while we remain uh, resolute to continue the search for Andreen and continue to try to find closure uh, to her family, we now have another family that we need to try to identify this other victim and uh, try to bring closure to another family who has yet to be identified. Salazar says they are reaching out to area law enforcement officers for any missing people reports that might match the woman that was found. They are also asking for the public's help. If the public knows any information regards to the woman's body, the woman that was found yesterday, they are asking that they contact the sheriff's office. Steve. Thanks, Sarah. With the new developments from the sheriff's office, the search continues for Andreen McDonald, the 29 year old mother last seen on February 28th near her home off of Solitude Cove. That's in far north Bear County near Canyon Golf Road and Overlook Parkway. On March 1st, McDonald did not show up for work and friends and relatives reported her missing. Two days later, her husband Andre arrested on a charge of tampering with evidence in the missing person case. He was released on bond earlier this week and must wear a GPS monitor. If you have information that can help find Andreen McDonald, call Crime Stoppers at 224-STOP.